what is up guys we are in galveston texas for the weekend me and the wife's got a little mini vacation so i decided to bring the camera we're going to be down here for two days we're going to try to catch specks reds and see what else we can catch we've kind of got high wind conditions it hasn't started blowing yet but i'm hoping to get out in the surf the water's pretty muddy from what we've seen from driving in so hopefully we'll catch something if not we're gonna make the best out of it and see what happens got a pretty day it looks like nice clear sunny conditions so see what we can catch got two days to catch fish we're catching some baby dock monsters as soon as the piece of shad hits the water it's pretty much gone Bulkhead, it is sinking, and we have one. I watched that one come up and get it. It was about that big. Got that one? Oh, 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 I got him. That has to be the smallest fish I've ever caught. <laughs> Go get bigger. I take it back. That is the smallest fish I've ever caught. Wow. <laughs> All right, go home. Pull my bait down. I got super sharp spikes. So behind me, I have two rods out for Monster Gar. We've seen two over four foot right in here. Didn't bring the Gar stuff with me, but I'm gonna give it a good effort. Maybe we'll get lucky. Skip it by this underwater light. There he is. Got him again. Oh, if we were going in the boat today, that would be awesome bait. Do you do it this way or? Yeah. I do it that way and flick it. Get him, girl. I seen that rod tip bounce. That was me. <laughs> That's not you. You still got him. Holly is throwing her Mach 2 speed span combo. And she has a piggy perch. size one all right I'll get him off for you okay there we go <laughs> okay this is the best bait 
forever. This catches big specs. That is a baby croaker. Let's see if I can get him to croak. You hear him? All right, well, I'll let him go. I'm gonna let him keep my mullet. He's earned it. Go get you some Advil. <laughs> so seriously, best bait you can definitely use to catch big trout and redfish. Give me some more shad, catch another one. Watch that light too. No, the light under oh, the water. Yeah. He dropped it in the thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, that was a good hit. That was a good few hits. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the smallest fish I think I've ever caught. Look at that monster. Grow up. That's why you throw a mustad hook. You catch everything. See if we can get him to croak. You hear that? That's why them redfish and trout love these things. He just got back. He's 
things have some very sharp fins. Put real pretty fish. See ya. Oh, hard head. No. That's all right. Ten pounds head. Being that we can't catch any uh reds or specks in the bay, I'll settle for it. Good size hard head. See how this goes. I'm gonna try to flip him. There we go. Alright, stop that, stop that, stop that. Alright, while I get him undone, we're gonna go get ready to go eat some lunch and try this again later this afternoon. Stay tuned for more fishing. Say hi, Holly. No bites. There's a school of mullet. One of the two. These are excellent offshore bait if he doesn't stab me with his fins. monster. That is a baby croaker. <laughs> I mean, tiny. You shouldn't have bit. Look how fat he is. That's who's been eating all my bait. He is a chunky butt. Oh, you're lucky I'm not going for big specs this afternoon. That is the best bait to throw for. every bit of two and a half inches. Got him, got him, got him! Three inches, they're getting humongous. Using a 
Demon Perfect Circle Hook. Link in the description where you can get some. This is a size six, and it'll catch you the perfect bait. And I need some more bait. I should get eight, and I'm gonna jump back in the shade. <laughs> I guess some guys didn't catch any, they didn't pull any fish out of their boat. <laughs> Golly, I'm getting hit like crazy. Probably more six inch, or not six inch, three inch fish. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We got a bigger one. Got another pin fish. As soon as he quits flopping, I'm gonna grab him. Give you a close up. Alright, behave, behave. Good boy. Yeah, I got lots of spikes. These things are very sharp. Holly is attempting to catch the biggest fish of the trip. So far, I'm in the lead with this fish right here, this redfish. She was upstairs napping and I had to sneak one in on her. I had to wake her up to come take the picture. Swing and a miss. But I caught the biggest croaker and something else. Yeah, you got the biggest croaker and the biggest uh, uh, pinfish, I believe. I've got you on the hard head. <laughs> I'm not really proud of that one. Make sure I don't get killed. <laughs> Near death experience. That's what happens when you get married, you get slapped around. And you got a fish on. Sing your line jump. Yeah, there's no way I would be running in 100 degree weather. Oh, you got your bait. So in case you are wondering, that is not our boat and we don't have permission to use it. So that's why we're not out in it. Cause I know I'm gonna get asked in the comments. Oh, look at Holly, she's got her. A big croaker. croaker. Listen to him. That is the perfect speckled trout bait. I can grab this one? Yeah, you can grab them. They got little teeth. Or not little teeth, but sharp uh, fins. Not really fins, like gill plates. So just be careful. Can't get it. You can get it. It's a circle hook, so you got to twist. Can you get him? You got it? See, there you go. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and I still have my bait. Like they don't want the whole chat. Just a piece of it. Calm down, the sooner we can get this over with. There we go. There we go. All right, good boy. <laughs> Got me pretty good. Guess that's why they call them a pinfish, because they'll pin ya. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that is it for this video. We are ending our vacation a little early, and this is why. 85 degrees in here, 
and it's only gonna get hotter. Basically, the homeowner said, hey, that's how it is in the summer, just deal with it. So you're not getting a good review on Google, and uh, yeah, we're not happy about that. I mean, we spent a lot of money to rent this place for the weekend, and it's just not good with a pregnant wife that needs to be cool. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Y'all keep God first in your life. See you in the next video.